It was showing decent form coming into this match, so when Michael Reddy was able to pick out the first goal scorer, Andy Parkinson, after only three minutes, it was a great start for Grimsby at Oxford. Parkinson got the Mariners winner here last season, and he'll be delighted to have finally ended a 20-game goal drought. He was helped by the decision of keeper Billy Turley to rush off his line, but the finish was measured. Oxford haven't won for six league games. Brian well, Tolbert's admitted November has been a disaster for the U's. They were level in the second half after a well-constructed move was finished off by Scott Fitzgerald's impressive strike. It was definitely an eye-catching way for Fitzgerald to herald his arrival on loan from Brentford. Having been given time and space to set himself, Fitzgerald left Grimsby keeper Steve Mildenhall a motionless admirer. Tolbert believes that this lunging tackle from Chris Hackett on Andy Parkinson changed the match. Referee Grant Hegley reacted immediately. It's certainly not Hackett's finest moment. Three minutes later, Hackett's departure was to be doubly costly. Again, Michael Reddy's the catalyst for the Mariners, who saw Paul Bolland serve up what is surely his best ever goal. Russell Slade believes the shot was unstoppable and worthy of winning any game of football. Grimsby were 2-1 ahead and the match was petering out until the 90th minute, when Gary Cohen was able to punish some hesitancy from keeper Turley. After the Wickham defeat, Russell Slade hopes that this victory, which sees Grimsby climb up to second place, will kickstart their season once more. Also in injury time, Justin Whittle fouled Neville Roach and Steve Basham was able to make it Oxford 2, Grimsby 3.